Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and I am in baby goat heaven around here so I thought I would let you guys join in. All right, check this little guy out. So this was the very first uh, born here and this is Trixie's buck. So he is just absolutely a doll baby. Check him out. Mwah. He is a buckskin with just a little bit of white. So that'd be minimal white. And then he has little frosted ears. <laughs> And he is blue-eyed and pulled. And pulled just means he's naturally hornless, so he won't grow horns, huh? And he is absolutely a sweetheart. So we have already nicknamed him Tucker. And I think he likes his name, he told me so. Huh, okay. So we got these babies on the bottle. I actually, hold on. I actually bring out a little towel so I don't get milk all over myself. <laughs> but he's taking the bottle really good. He actually eats a whole bunch. He is definitely, oh, he's a little too excited here. Here we go. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. So he is the biggest um, of all of them born. And he was a single though, so a single buckling at that. So that's not surprising. Let's check it out. They're so funny. And this is the third feeding and they already just get really excited about seeing us coming. Huh, here, 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 there you go. So sometimes they get so excited and try to really push for that nipple that it makes it a little hard to give it to them. But once you give it to them, they're just fine. Here, I'll show you guys that cute face. Oh, it's so good. He's got a really good suck reflex, don't you, buddy? We should have called him Guzzle Gut. Yeah, but that don't start with a T. Yeah, you good? Is that good? Okay, so they don't eat a whole, whole bunch um, at first because their tummies need to stretch. So they only take a little bit. Here you go, mister. So what I do as I'm feeding them, I actually will put them over in the next pen so that nobody gets forgotten and I make sure every single one gets fed. And I also go in order of, of who has been born. Hey goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. It is really important for our goats to get bred in the fall and have their kids in the spring. That way, they're ready to compete in the dairy goat shows. And after all the kids are weaned and have gone to their new homes, we continue to milk twice a day. We use that milk to make the best homemade goat milk soap you can find. So head on over to our Etsy shop and show your skin some love. The link to our Etsy shop is in the description below. All right, so second born, or next up, is Acacia's little doe here, who I'm actually really falling in love with because she's so precious. Check her out. You say hi. <laughs> she is absolutely so chill and just so sweet. Um, so, all right, this little doe is a buckskin. If you guys can see, she's almost the same color. Her cape and her um, back end hair is almost the same color, but it's not. So she did, she did turn out a chocolate buckskin. And she's just so cute. And she's got the little white pole. And she's fun because it's okay. On one side, she's just a plain buckskin. I got you. And on the other side, she's got this white marking and then just the one little brown hawk back here. Oh yeah, I did, pretty baby. And then she's got the frosted ears and white pole. Ain't that right? And then she'll have gold eyes, so they won't be brown, they will be gold. Even though technically there's only brown eyes and blue eyes in Nigerians, the brown eyes have a lot of different uh, shade variations. So the real, real light color is gold technically, but that is what it is. Okay, and she is horned. All right, you wanna show everybody how good you take a bottle? I know. 
Here we go. And she is a rock star on the bottle too. You got it, you got it, there we go. They're just too precious, you guys. Take you out. It's always super nice when they take the bottle right off the bat, and so that is the scenario for most of these little kitties. You see how right. I'm feeling pretty lucky about the nine little kids that have bo been born so far, because they are all very stunning and very unique. And they're ha they have some really, really cute, quirky personalities, so that's always a plus. It's right there. See, she's getting so excited. Right there. Good job. So this is only their third bottle feeding. So there's still very new about it. But um, yeah, they, they've been just doing awesome with it. Getting their bellies full, ain't that right? She's got the cutest face. Like I said, I'm really, really trying not to get attached to this one because there are others that I know for sure I want to keep if, in fact, they are born. But does anyway. Does, I mean, this little girl can really put back some milk. Are you trying to get milk junk? She's trying to get milk junk. Goodness. <laughs> you want to sit down? Sit down? Yeah. Hey, look at her little face. You got a milk stash. <laughs> All right, you go over here with your buddy. Here we go. Oh, hi. Okay, he can get a little loud if he feels like it. That's okay. All right, so this is Acacia's second born. I love you. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get you. Okay. Okay, I love you. All right, let me show them to, let me show you to them. All right, so there's his cute little adorable face. And he is also a chocolate buckskin. Um, but this little guy, let's see if you guys can see it. He's got a few moon spots on him. Don't you? And yeah, he's horned. And he's got uh, kind, of the, oh, kind of the same kind of thing of his sister with that white spot. But it's, it's his leg. And then this little white spot on the side. All right, he's hungry. He's a hungry boy. Now we'll get to you in a second. She likes to scream. We will we will show you to the camera here in just a minute. Look at you. He's a good eater. Things are always a little loud around here once we get into the swing of things and, and babies start getting born and hitting the ground. So it calms down pretty quickly just a few days after training everything, but nonetheless, tis kidding season. You are chugging fast, mister. Aren't you? So the baby here is screaming for the bottle, and the new mamas can hear it, so they're screaming back at her. Other than that, they are pretty chill. Around feeding time, when the kids start talking, that's when it triggers their mamas. And this, like I said, goes on, I, I think I said a few days, however, in most cases, it's just two, maybe three days, and with the first fresheners... Uh, it takes them, takes them the longest to get adjusted, but if you pull as early as we do, just a couple days. 
Huh. Look at this. He's flattening the bottle. Look at him. He's got good sucking action. Are you going to save some for the others? Mwah. Okay, he's eating like half a bottle. That big old belly? Jeez. Okay, there you go. Thank you. And then the next born, I know, was this pretty, pretty little doe. Look at her. This is Cassie's first doe. Yeah. And she was bred to Vader. And I absolutely love the way Vader throws the white patches. If you did, they're just cool. See, she's got those little white patches. And those. And of course, a little cute white tail. Mwah. <laughs> the white pole. The top of the head is white, huh? And she ended up horned, didn't ya? But those pretty blue eyes, I absolutely think the blue eyes is stunning on the black coat. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. Ah, they're so precious. So I'm very lucky. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, she does have a couple moon spots. They're just little, but like one here on the tip of her ear. She's got one here on her back, and there's a couple tiny ones on her legs. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. You want more? Yeah. There you go. Here. Oh, sweet girl. So as I was saying, um, the first fresheners, it takes just the longest to kind of get adjusted um, to, to getting separated. But like the older girls, Cassie, for instance, um, she... It's not even phasing her, so she's just like, whatever. She knows she gets treats, she gets milk. Um, she gets the good good on the stand now because she's producing milk. So the older does just get right back into the swing of things, and it doesn't really phase them much. Huh. Oh, she's caving in the bottle, too. You want my gecko? Yeah? Okay, you're done. That's fine. You know, one more little cute face look. Look. Dookie. Hi. Her, her face is so neat. I love her. I love her. I know. There you go. Thank you. And with your sister, there you are. Come here. Oh. This little girl I'm actually also trying not to fall in love with. Well, I'm, I've am i already fallen in love with every single one of them, but I kind of just mean, I don't want to keep so many this year. <laughs> but look at how neat her face is. Oh, she's a little mad. It's okay. And then again, Vader, check it out. Like, the, he just throws neat stuff. So we'll show the other side. So she is black with extensive white overlay. That's what that is called. And she got pulled from her mama. So she's naturally hornless. Yeah, so her sister has blue eyes and she is pulled with brown eyes. And I thought I saw a moon spot on her. Yeah, at the moment I can't see it. I know I did. All right, we'll feed her. I know, I know. Here we go. Here you go, baby. Right there, right there. See how smart they are? And then she lets go. <laughs> There's a good baby. So this girl is gonna have really dark brown eyes. And that is also really cool. 
um, they're usually just kind of a middle middle of the road brown in a lot of cases. It's it's not common, not in my herd anyway, in the in the genetics and bloodline that I have, for one of the goats to have super dark brown, and I just think it is beautiful. So my favorites are blue eyes and really, really dark brown eyes because they're just neat. They're just neat. Yeah, and this little girl, Cassie's second born, is a little beast. She's like a little powerhouse already. So Cassie actually, <laughs> she was feeding you guys very, very well in the belly, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so her sister's a little, has more length to her. And this little girl's more of like a powerhouse, aren't you? It's funny. Aren't they just so sweet? I love them. Here you go. And now we have Maisie. <laughs> Maisie's little buckling. I, he's stunning. He is just quite frankly stunning. He looks. I know. He looks so much like Maisie. He didn't get Mama's. I know. He didn't get Mama's blue eyes, but he looks just like her. So he is what's called loud. He is what's called loud. Absolutely. He's the biggest screamer. Um, but he's a light buckskin. And if you see in his cape, it looks like salt and pepper throughout. He has Ronin. So you can't really see it. Now Ronin goes on the whole body. So you can't really see it here on the, the lighter um, portion of the, his coat. But nonetheless. And he's pulled. Huh? Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we can get him to eat. He was pretty stubborn earlier. I know. So he will need the towel. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, see, he took it. Last feeding, he wasn't having it really. He was pretty stubborn. I just kind of had to hold it there for quite a while to make sure that he did get something in his belly as it dripped down and he swallowed slowly, but he didn't suck. So now he's he's actually suckling. So this is good. That's good. He's, he's a pretty stunning looking dude. Aren't you? He was hungry, huh? <clears throat> and he's got the little frosted ears too. We're getting lots of frosted ears, which is so cute. So I am not upset about it. Huh. And I can tell he's going to have the cutest little bangs to grow out, like little Elvis bangs. He's already starting to get them. What do you think? Would you a hungry guy? Yeah? You need a little break? Oh wow, he didn't suck for very long, but actually got a lot in him. That's good, buddy. That's good. That means once he gets on the lamb bar, he's gonna be one of those we have to pull off pretty quick or he'll drink it all, huh? Yeah. He's a strong boy. Yeah. A little stinker, he's too cute. All right. Well, I will come back to you so you can have a little more too. Mm -hmm. And then we have Daytona's firstborn daughter. Hi, oh my goodness. Oh, those kitties. Yeah, I know, I know you're looking for a nipple. I, I will just call them kisses though, because why not? I can call them whatever I want. Mwah. Okay, let's let's introduce you. She says hi. <laughs> so again, Daytona's first doe. This little stinker was kind of pretzeled up in there. I had to help a little, but not much. 
She was easy to get out. Yeah. Yeah, so she is black with a extensive white overlay. So she's got some cool patterns and it's always super fun when they on the white they have the actual black spots or dots or circles. And there's her other little spotted side. Hi. Okay. So she didn't get her mama's blue eyes, but she is pulled. And you right. Yeah. And super, super adorable. And hungry. So let's feed her. I know. I know. Here, here. Right there, right there. There we go. <laughs> So yeah, like I was saying, not a lot of blue eyes this year, um, which is actually surprising because all six does that have kitted have had blue eyes. Um, but nonetheless, only two out of the nine kids that have been born so far have blue eyes. So we'll see, we'll see. We still have a lot more does to go. I think they're right. What, what do we have? Uh, so we had six, so 17 more does to go. And as of now, so we do have seven first timers. I'm okay, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. Oh, I can feel your belly is huge, girl. Her belly's like a little basketball. Um, so anyway, we have seven first fresheners and that just means that it's the first time they've ever had babies. And they say freshen because that's their, their fresh milk comes in. Their fresh milk in their udder comes in. And that's why they call them freshens. So, um, five of my first fresheners are, are done. So that, that actually feels, feels pretty good. So we only have one senior doe so far that has kitted and everyone else was a first timer. Which, with the first timers, I always get a little bit nervous just because, you know, they haven't ever had babies before. And so it is a little bit nerve wracking, but um, it's all only nerve wracking because I do that to myself. I've had goats many, many years and nothing has ever happened with a first freshener or anything like that while they were delivering. But it's just me. I'm just always concerned with the goaties so that's all but either way we only got two more first fresheners are you all done mama a little more okay you can be done that's a lot you ain't good Mwah. i love you <laughs> i swear i know i know Okay, you're next, Missy. Oh, I love her. Oh, look at her. Okay, this one, since she was born at 2.30 in the morning, yes, you stinker, she was mainly positioned properly. I don't know what that was, but something fell. It's okay. Um, so at night, I could not tell that she was a buckskin. So she looked black and white. And I don't know if you guys can see that, if the camera can pick that up. But she was definitely a buckskin. And you can even see it there in the corner of her eyes, that little brown. Blue, you can't mess with my camera, mister. He's back there trying to, trying to be cameraman. Okay, so anyway, she is a dark buckskin, um, and as she gets older, that, that brown in her legs will come out more. And she's got a white pole, and obviously little facey, adorable frosted ears. Huh. And she's horned, and she has brown eyes. Ain't that right? But she does have a couple itty bitty moon spots. And, and she wants, she wants to eat. Okay, 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 okay. Here, here, here. There we go. Two 
cute. You did chugger, chugger, chugger. Hey. Hi. And the last little baby born here this year so far is kind of loud. She's down there screaming. You're good. Go for it. Chug, chug, chug. You're next, Missy. She has really, really great lungs. And she is the one who is triggering the first fresheners. So once they take a nap, the mamas will hush. Huh. Oh, my goodness. You ate good. You want some more? Oh, you're full. She, I can tell she's full, but she's like, I want a little more. Don't you? Yeah, just super, super happy of, of how these kids are turning out so far. Um, they they all look really, really nice confirmation wise, and they they're just super flashy. So it's too cute. Mwah. I want to show your face one more time. Look. And that's partially milk drunk. Ain't that right? That's what that looks like. Oh. <laughs> Look. Oh, is it cute? Okay. If you guys can hear me over her, she's a loud one. Uh, she is black with extensive white overlay. And she's got the coolest little face. Look at her. But her ears have got to be my favorite. They are so frosted, they're almost just white, but they're frosted. Let's see, can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and she does have a little moon spot right there. And a couple on her legs. And she's horned, and she'll have brown eyes. Huh. Okay, okay. Let's feed her. It's okay. It's okay. So I do want this little girl, too. I am seriously considering this one. Um, she came out of Molly, who is a daughter of Mia, who is a daughter of Mayo, who is a daughter of May, who is a daughter of Obi. So just obviously, I love, love, love the lines and those genetics. And this little girl is looking really, really nice. So you can't always tell, which is one of the reasons I'm so excited about this crop of kids here already born, is because you can't always tell what they look like. A lot of cases they have to unfold and you're kind of just going off of genetics. But when they hit the ground, and, and they're just stunning in a couple hours after after they've been born, you're just like, oh man, that's gonna be a good one. Whereas, you know, some, most cases, they actually, again, need to unfold. They need to grow into their, their silly little bones, huh? Is that it? Now she's super tired. Oh, now she's tired, I know. So I have high hopes her grandma Mia um, will do really, really well in the show ring this year. She's just stunning and she's really big. So I bet she has, you know, more kids than I guessed in the guessing game, but nonetheless, she's gonna have a lot of kids. So she's gonna have a really nice udder and her mama, Molly. Oh my gosh, she is a dream to milk. So I'm just really, really excited about Molly. So obviously I want to keep her daughter. I do. Look, she says keep me. She did. Oh my, oh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love her. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna name her, but she's probably mine. <laughs> I love you. This is what I've been so impatient for you guys. Look at this. And she's just snoozing. 
Got a little snoring going on. Oh. Mwah. Oh, too cute. Okay, so like I was saying, um, once I bottle feed them in the one pen, I just kind of toss them over to make sure everybody gets fed. Um, and then they go in their little hut. So I'll show you their hut. And they just kind of pass out because their bellies are full. Except for this talker here. Oh my goodness. Let me see, can I come in? Yeah. babies oh she says can I come in can I come in and chill yeah yeah look at him I'll sneak peek real quick oh my gosh pile of babies huh I gave you there you go <laughs> oh yeah so they're just snuggled up in their little hut here and then the next feeding, I will move that hut over to here as long as there's not a doe giving, giving birth, obviously. And then I will bring my chair in and just feed them again. And then I will put them over to make sure everybody gets fed. And you would never let me forget about you though, would you? No, she sure would not. All right, guys, so thank you for hanging out with me while we bottle feed. I am gonna go check on the other does. Um, nobody was in labor as of this morning or an hour after that or an hour after that or an hour after that. So we'll just go see. I'm pretty certain nobody else is in labor still, but nonetheless, I keep checking because I, you know, I'm trying to avoid any surprises, which, as we know, I can't avoid them all, but um, does are looking good and we should be having more babies anytime now, but uh, nobody as of yet needs to be put in the stalls. So that is it for today, guys.